guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be doing the random genetics challenge. If you haven't seen this already, I'll go ahead and link my playlist down below. I've done this a few times and I'm really excited to be doing it again. So basically how this challenge works if you're new here is you take a male sim, you take a female sim, and you randomize every part of them. So their jaw, their face, their nose, their mouth everything and then what we're going to do at the end after we have this weird concoction of sim is we're going to go ahead and make a baby and try to make that baby look as normal as possible and in my personal challenges i like to use custom content specifically alpha i just feel like it makes it more fun that way if it's so different all the time so we're going to go ahead and start off with the female sim and i'm just going to go ahead and take off all of her accessories and we're going to go ahead and start with her head shape. So we're going to randomize everything three times. So one, two, three. Okay, that didn't change much. Does she look friendlier? I'm not sure, but I feel like that didn't change that much. So I guess next we'll do eyebrows. So I do have some custom eyebrows here. We'll do one, two, and three. Okay, she almost got the blue eyebrows. <laughs> so she's looking out so far. Now let's go ahead. You see, I have so much custom content, you can't even see the eyes. So this is gonna be a mystery for us all. Do one, two, three. Okay. A little weird, but pretty normal still. We could have gotten the blue eyebrows. And for noses, I do have some. So let's go ahead and see. One, two, three. Okay, we did get a custom nose. Okay, now she's actually kind of looking really weird. <laughs> really out of proportion okay so again custom lips let's go ahead and see what happens some of these lips are very weird so one well there you have it there's the weird ones two three okay so she got the normal lips now she just looks like an alien so it's not too weird and let's go ahead and do her cheeks one two three okay she got chubby cheeks <laughs> and one two three three okay that didn't change much the chin could though one two and three okay and finally the ears one two three okay <laughs> well here's our sim interesting uh i guess we can actually if we do her face it might change it but there's all these skin tones so i'm gonna do it one two three okay just change her skin tone okay so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to hair i like to do this part just because it's fun so I switched it to just custom content to make it a little bit more interesting. We'll do one, two, and three. Okay, the hair's cute. I feel like that somehow helped a lot. <laughs> and what we can do just to make it a little bit more bearable is go ahead and add some lashes because like all the Sims need lashes. That's just kind of how you make them look good. See, it's already a little bit better. A little weird because of her eyes but a little bit better okay so let's go ahead and take off her clothes so we can see what we're doing and we're going to randomize her body and one two three okay so we got a custom content one i have a few of these i don't actually use these usually i kind of forget i have them okay so for everyday wear let's go ahead and do a top and a bottom just for more chances of it not looking good so one two three Okay, we have a normal top. She's kind of cute from back here. You can't tell she's really <laughs> interesting looking. And for the bottoms, one, two, and three. Okay, it's not the worst thing ever, actually. And for her shoes, one, two, three. Well, I'm not a fan of the green in combination with this outfit, but it definitely could have been worse. So for formal, oh. She got the big lashes for formal. It's literally breaking her eyes. I'm gonna leave that. Oh, and she got acrylics too. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that just because it's really funny. <laughs> and let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and filter it again by custom content. I have a ton of dresses, so hopefully we get one of them. One, two, three. Okay, this is cute. This is actually really cute. Okay, we almost, we almost got something that was not very formal. For her shoes, one, two, and three. Perfect. Perfect outfit. And for athletic, we'll go ahead and I think for the rest of the outfits, we'll do a top and a bottom to make it more interesting. So one, two, three. Okay, that works. One, two, three. This matches perfectly. Do you see that purple? That's the same purple. Okay. Okay, we have high hopes for the shoes. One, two. Well, it was almost perfect. 
Yeah, okay, moving on. Uh, actually, for sleepwear, I have a lot of... A lot of my pajamas are in the outfit category, so we'll do that. One, two, three. Well, you know, this is categorized as a swimsuit, but actually this would work, technically. And she already has cute slippers on. Let's hope she gets them again. One, two, three. Okay, these these work. This kind of works. And for party wear, we'll go ahead and do a top and a bottom. So one, two, and three. That's that's a cute tie-dye breaking her calf, but it's working. Okay, one, two, three. It's glitching, but that makes it match. So it's working. And her shoes. Yeah, I mean, she, lo she looks like a life of the party. Oh, and she got a cute hat for this. Okay, that's fine. So... A lot of my swimsuits are also in the full body, so we'll go ahead and do that. One, two, three. Okay, she got a swimsuit. I'm gonna just a lot of accessories on. I just took her shoes off. And for hot weather, we'll do a top and a bottom. One, two, three. I love this strawberry top. This is so cute. Perfect for the spring. And one, two, three. Okay, I don't like the color, <laughs> but this works for summer wear. And one, two, three, and some white sneakers. Okay. All right, let's see if she gets something warm. So one, two, three. Okay, a cardigan going well. One, two, three. Yeah, we couldn't end on a good note, could we? We just couldn't. Let's see what kind of shoes she gets, because I think I know exactly what type of shoes she's going to get for this. One, two, three. Okay. Those work. The outfit as a whole does not, but they're kind of like boots, so it works well enough. So this is our mother sim. I guess we can go ahead and we'll do her name and her traits. So one, two, three. Adriana. One, two, three. Adriana Stewart. And we'll do her traits. One, two, three. Okay, she's lactose intolerant, childish, and erratic. Okay, so there's our mother sim. Now we do the exact same thing, but for the male sim. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did with her and strip everything so we can see. We'll go ahead and randomize the face. One, two, three. Okay, I thought we were about to have a blue sim for a second. In his head shape, one, two, three. Eyebrows, one, two, three. Okay, everything is normal. Eyes. One, two, three. Okay, so her eyes were like slanted all the way diagonal. His are just sloped down. So maybe when they have a baby, they'll be perfectly sloped, not anyway. And for the nose, one, two, three. Okay, that's a nice nose actually. It kind of made him look more normal somehow. And for his cheeks, one, two, three. And jaw, one, two, three. Oh, geez. Strong jaw. Let's see what the chin does. One, two, three. He kind of looks like handsome Squidward. It's kind of uncomfortable. Okay, let's see if the lips fix it. One, two, three. It didn't fix it. This is literally handsome Squidward. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what he looked like. Let's do the ears. One, two, three. Okay, well, let's see if his hair can save him. I'm not gonna have high hopes. I don't know if you can fix Handsome Squidward with hair, but we can try. <laughs> One. Two. <laughs> okay, it didn't help. It got worse every time. Okay, okay. Moving on. Okay, let's do his body. One, two, three. Okay, it was normal. I didn't expect that, I'll be honest. I did not expect that. Okay, for his top. One, two, three. This polo with this face, I cannot. Okay, pants. One, two, three. Those are literally breaking my eyeballs to look at. Do you see that? Oh, his hair is longer than I thought it was. Okay, well, I feel like his outfit is fitting for that face. Let's do shoes. One, two, three. 
polka dot shoes. Okay, um, formal wear. I'm just gonna take this headband off for a second. <laughs> okay, <laughs> formal wear. One, two, three. Okay, he's fancy, it works. One, two, three. All right. Well, okay. One, two, three for athletic wear. That works perfectly. One, two, three. Did you just see number two? That was... I'm glad we landed on this one. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that pulled the outfit together. That works pretty... Not as much for athletic, but it's fine. It will do. Uh, we'll do top and bottom for the male. One, two, three. Okay, a little cold shoulder moment. One, two, three. This is an interesting character. Very interesting. One, two, three. Okay. See, normally when I do this, I feel like they always come out normal, so it's kind of nice to have the crazy sim, finally, after all this time, I feel like. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. This is literally the outfit that he had on earlier. And for his shoes, one, two, three. Well enough. For his sleepwear, um, doesn't need this. That face, I, I just kind of forgot that his face looks like that up close. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, it works. Here we go. For hot wear, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. He's totally normal for this one. One, two, three. Pretty, pretty much normal. Okay, winter wear. One, two, three. I didn't know I had that, but it's a sweater. One, two, three. Okay, regular jeans. Okay, are the shoes gonna break it? One, two, three. Well, they match his top. Okay, well, it's our dad. Just another look at that face. Okay. And let's look at our mother again, okay. You know, she's kind of cute. A little weird, but cute. The other guy, not so much. Let's see. Okay, let's do his name and his traits, and we'll go ahead and see what happens when you mix these two faces together. One, two, three, Christian. One, two, three. Christian Boswell and his traits. One, two, three. Oh, he got erratic as well. Yeah. And he's neat and he's a recycled disciple. You know what? Somehow very fitting. Very fitting indeed. Okay, so now we're gonna play with the genetics. I hope the baby comes out crazy because I feel like the babies always come out normal and it's not that difficult. So we're going to start off randomizing as a child and then we'll raise them up to an adult and I'll give them a makeover and see how it came out. So one, two, three. Okay, she looks normal. Let's make her a young adult and see. Okay, well, she's like a literal exact clone of her mother. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and give her a makeover, and we'll see how she looks when we come back. Okay, so I didn't change anything about her at all. I just changed her hair, added it a little bit darker to make it black, because, you know, that's something you can change. But I didn't, like, physically change her body or her features or anything. Um, I added lashes, a little bit of eyeliner, and tell me why she actually looks really cute. Like, she came out really good. And this is just her outfit I gave her. So yeah, this is what she ended up looking like, and I feel like somehow, like always, she came out really cute. It probably would have been a different story if she ended up looking like her dad, but yeah, let's go ahead and randomize her name. One, two, three. Okay, Joy Boswell. We'll do her traits. One, two, three. Okay, she got romantic, evil... Okay, she got kleptomaniac, romantic, and loves the outdoors. Okay. Wow, okay. I'm really surprised that, like, just look. Look how cute. And then look at this. I, uh, <laughs> I just get out. I feel like, I mean, her mother was kind of cute, too, so I guess that's a good thing. 
she got all of her mother's jeans but yeah let me know how you think the daughter turned out and go ahead and leave me a like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video bye guys